Hey everyone and welcome to this special showcase celebrating the launch of Paleoag Evolution releasing within the next couple of days and featuring one of its first editions, the Evo Tyrannosaurus. And I'll be covering the Evo Giga in the next video. Now for both of these Evo dinos, they are TLCs not just to the original Ark dinos, but also to the Evo Tyrannus and the Evo Giga from Ark Survival Evolved. And let me tell you, these ASA TLCs were really worth waiting for. They are so much better. And that's why we're doing it in two different videos. Now, for those of you new to my videos, what you can expect is first things first, I'm going to go over the critical information I know you're all aching for. Then after that, we'll do a visual comparison of all the different Rexes. And then after that, I'll venture off into the wild and look for a Rex to tame. No cheats, no admin commands, an actual organic demonstration as to how you tame these new Rexes. And then using my newly tamed Rex, I will try out the new sounds, new abilities, animations, attacks, see how it all works out. And then at the end of it, I have some bonus goodies such as random colors, a new baby mesh, and perhaps even a boss battle. Let's we'll see what we've got time for. So for the much needed critical information, the first thing I'm sure you're all wondering is what's going to happen to your old creatures when you install the mod? So wild Evo creatures won't spawn until you've done a dino wipe. So always do a dino wipe whenever you add any mods. And otherwise, for your tamed dinos, so you will still keep your vanilla ones, but what you can do is go up to your tamed Rex or tamed Giga, mouse over and convert to Evo version. This is irreversible, so be careful. And it's got no timer, so just go ahead and click it. And there's your brand new Evo dino. This has already been thoroughly tested. It will keep your stats, your colors, your mutations, everything. So you will not be resetting your progress. Now, if the Evo conversion option does not appear, such as on this Giga here, just go ahead and put it into a cryopod or maybe upload it into a terminal as well, but cryopods work. Summon it back out again, and you'll see it immediately convert to Evo version. And again, it's irreversible. So while we get to enjoy that beautiful comparison, the next question you're all burning for is cross arc and consoles. Yes, Paleoarch Evolution will be coming to console. There will be a brief moment between Steam launch and console launch, just to make sure we can iron out any bugs, any issues, because it takes longer to cook on console than it does Steam. So we'll push out the Steam update first, get that all sorted and all crystal clean, and then hopefully as quickly as possible, it'll then be shipped off to console as well. So yes, console launch, little delay, but hopefully with minimum bugs. Right now, as of recording, Paleoarch Evolution is currently 325 megabytes big, although it's also been announced that console will soon be having their budget increased to 20 gigabytes. And future dinosaurs added to Paleoarch Evolution will be separated into different packs, that way you can pick and choose what works best for you, and not be too worried by the storage limit. Now, another common question is, will the vanilla dinosaurs carry on spawning when Paleoarch Evolution is installed? No, they will not. Our idea is that we're making better versions of the vanilla dinosaurs, very balanced for vanilla gameplay. We're not taking anything away. This Rex is just a better version of this Rex. So why would you want the old one? Why, why, why do you want this crusty, weird looking funky lad when you can have this beautiful new one? <laughs> so no, when you have the mod installed, you will not get vanilla one spawning still. Stat wise is still the same as a regular Ark Rex. So it still has the same niche as a soldier in the meta. You can still use it for bosses, for tech cave, for raiding and PvP. It's the same Rex as you've known before, just much better looking and much more fun and interesting. And I'll get into why once we've tamed one. Another question is, would there be a Paleo variant to the Evo Tyrannosaurus Rex? And yes, in fact, we already have one done. And with that being said, I'm going to quickly add that in Scorched Death, we will have a Scorched Tyrannosaurus. So that means no more Tybosaurus. Now then, for those visual comparisons. So for just a bit of fun, I've edited in the old Evo Tyrannos from Ark Survival Evolved. And just to be clear, you cannot get this in ASA. You get the new Rex in ASA, not this old one. So on the left is the Ark Survival Evolved Evo Tyrannos. At the center is the ASA Vanilla Rex. And on the right is the Paleoarch Evo Tyrannosaurus Rex. And already we can see quite the stark difference indeed. So the original Evo Tyrannus model was created by Pod Creature, which was then re-sculpted and all the texture work redone by Chrono, and she has done a immaculate job. This also comes with a custom saddle, since this is a brand new model, it requires a brand new saddle, because you can't just plop the old ones on a new one, it doesn't work that way. The saddle was conceptualized by Orloki and modeled and textured by Shimito. 
All the locomotion animations were done by Nimwit, and all other animations were done by Jimmy Baguette, Lapis Lazuli, Sir Blameson, and Cyborg Zeno, along with brand new yet still familiar sounds by Mordekaiser. And what a job everyone has done, it comes together so beautifully. So one thing I really don't do enough of is play with these in photo modes and just look at the comparison on these two. These are the same colour IDs in the same colour regions. So this really is a perfect left and right comparison, old and new. And where do you begin? There's just so much different and better. This new Rex is beautiful. I don't just say this as a Paleo Arc team member. I, I had nothing to do with the Rex. I didn't touch this at all. It's honestly got to be one of my favourite just Rexes in Paleo Media in general. It's just beautiful. And in some angles, it has such gentle eyes. In fact, the eyes have a really cool effect in general. It's, it's really, really beautiful. It's so just striking the anatomy proportions feel really nice. So these two are the same size. Our new Rex is the same height and same size as the original vanilla Rex, but it feels a little smaller because ours is a bit leaner. And there's a reason for that. The attacks warrant a more leaner body plan because it's going to be quite a bit more agile. It'll all make sense later, all by design, all intended. And can I also just bring our attention to the saddles as well? Like again, Schmitto did a really amazing job on the saddle. The old Wild God one looks so plasticky and weird, but then Schmitto's one's got this really beautiful, hold on, this really beautiful effect. Like it's actually got like reflective materials, the leather looks so soft, and you may have noticed no stupid rod in the mouth of our Rexes. Uh, we, we don't like the rod, the rod feels just wrong. And, you know, your Rex is meant to be your companion, not your reptilian slave. It just feels nicer without it. Let me get all zoomed in up in here. God, look at those eyes. Absolutely beautiful refractive lighting. And the scale work. Oh my god, the scale work. As a fellow artist on the Piliarch team, Chrono is goals. She has done such an incredible job with this Rex. All right then, so let's get down to actually taming ourselves with one of these brand new Eva Rexes. And I finally spotted one after clearing out Kanoan a couple of times, and it is quickly getting bloody. So first things first, as you would in a regular playthrough, is quickly save the poor thing before the RG screw it over. And it died anyway. That's really unfortunate. <laughs> okay, turns out it was in level 20, so uh, yeah, no loss. Ah, there we go. Finally found myself a Rex, and you may have noticed- oh, two Rexes. And you might have noticed they have a baby! They got two babies! And one of them's mutated! Wow, that is quite the collection to find! <laughs> Alright then, here we go! Here is the wild Evo Tyrannosaurus, and what a pack we've gotten! Let me quickly kill this first. Okay, oh, it's a 110! Alright, so I really wasn't anticipating dealing with two of them at the same time. So, I want to try and get that 110. Now, regarding taming the new Evo Tyrannosaurus Rex, they are very different and very angry. They are very, very different. They are no longer a combat team, uh, like a knockout. Does that just look amazing? Oh my God, I love that. I need to find a corpse quickly. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that really was one very angry dad and a very angry mother. Oh my goodness. This begins just like a culture team. So you want to go ahead and passive feed them a corpse first. Now I should just quickly mention, this is my first time doing this. As an artist, there's not really any reason for me to be testing the actual mechanics of the game, or the mod. So this is my first time, as well as yours, you watching. So, I think she's mad. Oh, no, hold on. Are you mad? I think she's mad. Yeah, okay, okay. No, this isn't going to work. Okay, so after a good old de-render and returning, Let's see if Daddy Rex will be a bit more willing to try my snack. Uh, that doesn't seem very ideal. No, he's angry. Is he? Yeah, okay, he didn't like that at all. So I found two new Rexes and I went and quickly killed a bunch of things around them and I'm going to try and offer them a Stegosaurus, something much, much larger. And this should be more effective, though they do seem to be very distracted right now on a bunch of trikes. Oh, there we go. That That's the animation. That is the animation. This one is interested, and I gotta really hope that that one doesn't attack me meanwhile. 
Oh, let's see. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so this one is getting my trust, but that one might be a problem. And let's just get rid of you quickly. So you might notice that our Rex is now totally passive. It's ignoring everything else, which does make me fear this one all the more. Level 20. You know what? I think the smartest thing to do might be to just get rid of that one entirely and hopefully it doesn't piss her off. Nope, it didn't. Okay, good. So now we wait. So you begin this taming process by offering it a corpse, just like the Curature, and that'll pacify it and just make it wander around peacefully. But while it wanders around and while you stick close by, every now and then you'll have a message to not move and you gotta stay still. You were here to gain her trust and I can't spook her. If I start running around like a headless chicken, she's gonna see that as a threat and attack me. Although I can confirm that de-rendering it will stop the attack, but it's kinda easy to avoid in the first place. And otherwise, during these don't move windows, it should periodically come up to you, or if you're close enough to her in the first place, you'll actually be able to either pet her, which is basically a cuddle like a baby dino, or you can feed her a snack, which seems to vary between raw meat, raw prime meat, raw mutton, and exceptional kibble. And you'll have to keep on repeating that and genuinely respecting her space and don't spook her until she is ready for you to mount her. Hi there, I'm just gonna get real up and close to you. Hopefully it doesn't spook her. Oh wait, pet. Yep, there we go, I can pet her. And that's given her a nice little chunk of bonus trust. And I guess I'll just wait here for a moment. And I should be safe just to follow her around now. Just chill by her side. Again, make sure that I pay attention to the don't move message. But otherwise, we're buddies. And this is a moment to really appreciate this new model. Like, my goodness. It really is amazing. I know a couple of people were worried that it felt small, but look at it. No, like this is actually huge, especially when you're pass taming it, not just knocking it out. This is a scary big creature and it is just graceful as hell. There goes another animation. Don't move. Oh, but she does seem to be coming back towards me. No, she's just looking oh so majestic. <laughs> that's another one. That's quite creepy to see from the front, not gonna lie. Don't move. Oh, one's raw meat. Oh, wait, oh, it's specific. Interesting, I thought it was actually going to be like just a general eat. Okay, so I can't move and she wants raw meat. Um, well, that's a bit tricky, isn't it? <laughs> well, on the plus side, if you ever wondered, um, if you get glitched onto their foot while it says don't move, it doesn't count. <laughs> don't worry, I am not moving at all, apparently. Okay, there goes another animation, once raw meat, and now we are friends. And by the way, the raw meat wasn't even my zero key, it was just in my inventory. Oh god, please come back! No! Friend! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Ow! There we go. So now, this resumes just like a character tame, where now we have to run around and eat things. Of course, creatures with bigger drag weight, the better, but now we are going to go hunting together. And one little baby parasaur gave me 6.6%. I am on just official times one taming. Nothing special at all. This Gallimimus gave me 22%. So this is actually really quite forgiving. These are small creatures, give me very high progress. And I do believe that you only lose effectiveness from friendly fire. So if you or one of your tamed dinos attacks your Rex, then you'll lose effectiveness. Otherwise, let's just test quickly. Yep, no, won't lose any effectiveness from the wild creatures. So I would say that the hard part is done. Now it's just a case of proving to her that we are worthy battle allies. Oh, and by the way, you can also use your special attacks as well. So even as a wild creature, you've got access to all of its attacks. And just look at how nice this is. I uh, love the new attacks. We'll have a deeper look into that in a moment. But let's finish off the team first. And there is our brand new Rex. I'm going to call you Rexy. Oh, fantastic. So all together, that was quite a fast tame. And by the way, I'm still on it without a saddle. I'm not sure that's intended, but hey, it makes it easy to bring back home. By the way, speaking of the saddle, it is now called Tyrannosaurus. So no more searching Rex. You've got to search Tyrannosaurus specifically or Evo. And also you can indeed get quality saddles and quality saddle blueprints from supply drops. Now then, let's get you equipped then and really get to appreciate this beautiful beast. So immediately, in terms of handling, it feels wonderful. It just feels like a better Rex. It's nice and responsive. It's got a bit of a turn radius. Well, honestly, so much better than the original Arc Rex. So really, it's just nothing but improvements. 
And one cool little new feature that I believe will be present in all of our new Evo creatures is, let me just quickly kill this, is when you toggle spacebar, it will allow for directional turning. So just like uh, when a Spinosaurus is in his bipedal stance, or you can also just attack and swing your head around for a quick turn like that. But otherwise, again, when you toggle spacebar, directional turning is enabled. And if you don't like that, toggle it again and it's disabled. So that'll give you a nice full control over just handling your Rex, which I think is fantastic because Rexes have always felt very clunky, very slow and just a bit weird to use, which is a shame for a creature that is so popular and so famous. So first things first, to quickly compare the movement animations, the new one just looks so much more alive. The previous Rex looks like it's just, you know, kind of slowly lumbering away awkwardly. It's got like a bit of a weird hunch, but the new one looks like it's out for trouble. It actually feels like a pursuit predator. So in terms of attacks, I've switched over to the Paleo Rex because it's just it's just so pretty. Look at it. I, I love this thing. <laughs> and we went over earlier about the whole turning ability. So it's got these really awesome thrashes and it's also great for turning as well. Now, you can't do thrashes while sprinting, only <laughs> you can only do them while walking, not sprinting. But it's really handy and really mobile. So there's also th this is all left click, by the way. There's also the stomps, so if I look forward, nice big frontal stomp, if I look backwards, it's got a bit of a tail thrash and a double stomp as well, which also has a very short cooldown, so if you're ever getting attacked from behind, perfect, that's how you deal with it. It's got its sideways stomps as well, which does a bit of a turn also. It's, it's beautiful, like this thing is just so fun to attack with, and it's really refreshing having a creature that responsively attacks in every direction. Yeah, we have some creatures in the game already that do just, you know, 360 attacks, but this one feels like it does a 360 attack, if that makes sense, if you get what I'm trying to get at here. <laughs> There's also the cosmetic roar. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> so the sound was custom done by Mordekaiser and he did such Oh, such a good job with it. Also, just the animators as well, like just the way it all shakes and reverberates. It looks so, so good. So the sounds are slightly different compared to the Ark Survival Evolved Evo Tyrannus because, you know, a bit of copyright. We want like original content. This one's just better but overall in every way. Oh my God, that did, I think that was a headshot. That did some damage. Again, reminder, the stats are the exact same as a Vanilla Rex. This is not any stronger. It's just more mobile, it can do more, but with the same strength and power as before. Now, on top of the directional attacks, which I just want to quickly note, is really refreshing. It uses more than just the teeth, like it actually uses its tail and feet as well, really powerful. There will be two more attacks not yet implemented. One will be when you hold down left click, it will ramp up and charge a bigger, more powerful bite attack. This is just a default one, of course, which as you can see, it's quite quick. But yeah, so there'll be like a newer, bigger, better one. And there'll also be another new ability, which I can't show you here, but it's meant to be able to pick up small creatures and humans and swallow them whole, which is really fitting for a Rex because that, it could, like, look at the size of the player, that could swallow you whole. And it's gonna be really cool to actually have an appropriate attack to do that. Now, I can't tell you about balance or animation or whatever until it's actually implemented. Obviously, we keep uh, balance in mind, so it will work out quite nicely. I got faith in everyone for this. Oh, I wish I could show you, but it just, it's just not, not yet, not yet. I see a Therizino. Hey, let's have a quick little fight. Oh my gosh, look at the size difference. So, <laughs> this is just so fun. I love this thing. Hold on, can I, did I already kill it? No, if I just go backwards for a second and do like a little right click stomp attack. Oh, that knockback. It just feels so good to use. This is so refreshing. It's like I mentioned earlier, Rexes are so iconic and famous. It's nice to have this actually feel like a powerful animal and not, you know, just some really sluggish bite, bite, bite monster like it was before. Oh damn, that is a really cool attack. I do love this one a lot. And all it is is the pushbacks, so no debuffs, no dots, no uh, slows. You know, just a quick little get the hell away. And by the time your creature comes back to attack you, you're ready to use it again. 
Oh, that's so cool. We'll switch around. Oh, I'm going for the big bite. I love this thing. So one more thing about the Evo Tyrannus that I really don't want to overlook is the baby mesh. This actually has a proper baby mesh and it just looks so tiny and so cute. It, it doesn't look like, you know, some weird malformed runt like uh, admittedly a lot of the Ark baby dinos look like. Except for Gigantoraptor, did a very good job on that one. But this one, it just looks like a baby Rex and it's so cute and it's even got like a little cute roar. <laughs> an absolute baby! Now, just to confirm, this is a Rex, so all of the timers are the same, the eggs are the same, it's all exceptional eggs, or like exceptional weight, and like incubation, maturation, cool down, everything's gonna be the exact same. So the only thing that's changed is the fact that it actually looks adorable now, it looks better. Next up, we'll take a quick little look at the color variations, of which we can see that they're all quite nice and mute, so no silly clown colors, but they all have like a nice variety, nice bold colors, but very natural looking with a fun diversity. So there's one more thing I'd like to do, and this really is just... Oh my god, I'll scared the crap out of me. This is just for fun. I would like to see the Evo Tyrannus fighting a Broodmother alongside a, uh, a Midi character, a Maraxes, and an Ea Kokari. And I believe that was a Indominus Rex. That was terrifying. So let us go ahead then and see how this works out. Oh, good lord, look at that Rex go. Oh my god, they are just beautiful, aren't they? Wow. Obviously, it's a little bit of a mess. You can't really see everything because, you know, it's an arc moment. They're all stuck in each other's hitboxes, but didn't that swipe look absolutely incredible? Oh, look at you go. Oh, the Rexes. The Rexes really are just stunning. They're all stunning. It's so cool seeing. Like, just all these really amazing new dinos in the game. Oh, but look at them, though. Oh, that is such a view! Look at that! So that really is quite the sight, and on that note, I think I'll wrap it up here then, everyone. I really hope you've enjoyed this, and I really cannot wait to see all of you enjoy Paleoarch Evolution, the Giga and the Rex. Speaking of the Giga, that video will be coming by very soon as well, so keep an eye out for that, and we'll go over all of this, but with the Gigas, and I am so excited. So, thank you so much for watching, Really hope you've enjoyed it. If you want to find like the mod ID, the Discord server, everything's in the description down below. And we'll see you all very, very soon.